starts late today. It is 5.45 in the evening. It's a Saturday and I'm heading to perform at a wedding. I love performing at weddings. I'm just doing one hour, it's cocktail hour, I'm doing close up. I mean, for me it's like in and out. It's just like a tight one hour, which usually at a wedding, cocktail hour ends up being a little bit less than an hour by the time they actually get out of the ceremony and then the reception starts. But I am doing, a, you know, close-up magic, intimate, you know, interactive close-up magic. And weddings are so much fun because everybody's in a good mood and it's just friends and family. What's interesting tonight is that the wedding just happens to be in Brookfield, Connecticut. Brookfield, Connecticut is where Lindsay and I got married. Now, it's not at the same venue. I thought it was gonna be at the same venue that we got married at. I thought that, I was I was ready for it to just be crazy. Like, like oh my God, same venue. I remember driving this route to go look at the wedding venue we ended up getting married in for the very first time a few years ago when we when we were looking for venues. I remember this this road, so it's totally, totally trippy. So this was actually kind of a last minute booking. The groom called me just a couple of weeks ago and, and, and wanted to get me to do magic for his wedding because he's a lifelong amateur magician. And I was like, like you mean when you were a kid you loved magic? And he's like, no, I still do magic for my friends. I'm like, oh, you're the magic guy in your group of friends. He goes, yes, exactly, I'm the magic guy. And I thought that was just so cool that he wanted to incorporate one of his passions for his guests at, at his wedding, for someone who's like an amateur magician to want a professional to come in and do their thing for his friends and family. It's a real honor to be asked and, and they wanted me specifically Specifically, uh, they didn't. They weren't just looking for any magician in general. They really were specifically looking for me based on my kind of body of work and my reputation in this area, which means a lot to me. Most, and it really does. I know. I, I know entertainers. We say stuff like that. Sometimes it sounds fake or rote or whatever. But in spite of all the marketing that I do, the bulk of my work every year still comes from word of mouth and personal referrals and and, and reputation that's been built up on personal referrals. So everybody should be off doing the ceremony while I'll be able to sneak in the, uh, uh, find the room for the cocktail hour, hopefully meet the uh, event coordinator or whoever's uh, running things there and get uh, situated and all, all set up for tonight. So, ah, I'm in a good mood tonight. I'm in a good mood. I'm in the coat room, which is typically where I end up at events like this, where I've got to put down my bag, leave it somewhere while I'm working. Uh, coat room is usually the place to be, so that's where I am. Just getting started, 20 minutes later than expected. Pretty common for a wedding. So I have a feeling the uh, cocktail hour is gonna get started 20 to 30 minutes later than I expected, but I always account for that when I'm working weddings. So just hang out, stretch out the fingers, do a little magic warm ups, and uh, let's do this. I just wrapped cocktail hour, started late, I went late. It was a blast. Absolutely terrific. Uh, Matt and Janet, congratulations on your beautiful day. Their guests, your, your guests, your family, your friends are all awesome. And now, uh, hello. <laughs> I can't believe how warm it is. It's 85 degrees. The last, it's like the last weekend of September. No, it's, I don't know. It's the end of September. It's 85 degrees. 
I mean, it worked out for this for this couple for this wedding, doing an outdoor wedding on the lake. I mean, that's awesome, but boy, oh boy, is it warm. Anyway, Matt and Janet, if you're ever watching this, congratulations on your amazing day. Uh, it was a pleasure to be a part of it, and uh, Matt is so into magic, I, I said, hey, listen, I don't normally do this with clients, but uh, you ever want to meet up and just chat about magic and talk shop or whatever? I, by the way, can we just appreciate that my car, the proximity alert on my car knows to open the, uh, knows to open the trunk for me when I get near it? Well, it's an hour and ten minute drive. I'm pretty sure I need gas, too. I think I forgot to, uh, range. 106 miles, and I have to go 60 miles? Okay. I can... I'll, I'll, I'll just drive home and then I'll, I'll get gas tomorrow. That'll be, that'll be close enough. Apparently, my phone, I accidentally hit record and left it recording while it was, like recording video while it was in my jacket pocket, in my inside breast pocket, for the first 40 minutes. For 40 minutes it had been recording video, which means I probably just have audio of my performance. Having said that, I'm gonna end the video right here. Thanks so much for sticking with me, and always remember that our world is a shared experience. Have a great night. Good, how are you? Very well, my name's Brian. I'm the magician here this cocktail hour. You. Would you like to see some magic? We're just getting started. Yeah. Wonderful. How was it? It sounded, it looked very nice from afar. Oh, yeah. Beautiful out there, yeah. right? Yeah. And the sun, it looked like it was coming down a little bit, getting a little bit less warm. Can you believe how warm it is at oh the end of September? I know. So, you ever played around with one of these before? Yeah. Rubik's Cube, they're easier to solve than you think they are. Hey, I'm the magician. Hey! Okay, how are you? I'm how Brian. Are you?